Gina LaJoy is a local artist based out of the Damani Ranch area. You may have seen some of her artwork at renowned regional medical center, Wild Creek Golf Course, or even at the Nevada Museum of Art. I um, always was, I've been interested in art since I was probably in grade school, and so I always did projects for the teachers, and then once I, uh, I took classes when I was in high school, and then once I got to college, I was undecided for, for about a year, and then started taking some art classes and just decided that's what I wanted to major in. So I have a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree. Um, it, it was an emphasis in graphic design. Um, so I, I had painting classes in college, but it wasn't. I do watercolor now, but I did, took acrylic and oil painting when I was in college. And we did printmaking and photography. But then um, I did work as graphic designer for a few years, and then I met an artist who, she had a gallery in uh, Maryland, we lived in Maryland at the time, and so I decided to take some some um, plein air painting. She painted outside, and so I would go with the group, and I just fell in love with it, so I've been painting ever since. So the artists that I really pay attention to are artists that, they're watercolor artists. I, um, I work with the Sierra Watercolor Society locally, and um, I schedule these workshop artists that come here. So I follow a lot of them. There's Charles Reed, there's John Salmonum, Ma Salmonum uh, Bev Jaws, we actually was just here, and they're just amazing. And the and watercolor has come a long way from years ago, so it's there, there's all kinds of different ways to paint. Although painting is not her full-time job, she is an avid member of the Sierra Watercolor Society and places her art in five to six shows a year. I, um, I take a lot of photographs and I really like shadows, shadows coming off objects, so it's my favorite thing to paint. Um, I like painting people, so I try to take photographs everywhere I go as long as, you know, I, I don't disturb anybody. <laughs> I, can, I paint from my photos and then I, because of my graphic design background, um, I have a good eye for composition, so um, it's just easier for me to... Uh, paint from a photograph where I can leave stuff out or put stuff in. I've entered quite a few and there's a San Francisco, uh, it's a California Watercolor Association. I'm a signature member there and it's um, it's difficult to get in. You enter, they probably have 800 entries and they pick like 90 paintings so it's just an honor to get Well it's very, um, it's an honor, it's very gratifying. It makes you feel like people appreciate your work and there are people like so many different types of art, whether it's abstract or my stuff is more realistic. So everyone has a different taste. So it's just nice to get that group of people that really like your art. Um, this is a well, this is a painting I started um, of these girls at it was my son's first communion. So I probably took this photo. Uh, I was like seven years ago. I guess how old was he? So I just decided to paint it, but um, I like all the fabric, the the veil. So I'm just now putting in some, a lot of color in the veils, and but it has so many more layers of color still. It's very light still, so I'll probably have to work on it, you know, probably another week or so before it's done. LaJoy has always had a love of the arts since she was a young girl and has some advice for anyone trying to make a career in the art industry. Um, take workshops, as many workshops as you can because you have to develop your own style and everybody paints differently and once you find your own style then it, your stuff's more recognizable and it'll be more enjoyable for you to paint. 